Hello again from Metro Manila, the Philippines, Southeastern Asia. I continue my series of videos on the people who died trying to cross the Berlin Wall. Klaus Brüske was the 16th such person to die. His brief Wikipedia article is my main source for this video in English. He was born in September on September the 14th, 1938, and died aged 23 on April the 18th, 1962. He was thus the 16th known person to die at the Berlin Wall. <clears throat> she, he tried, I'm oh, sorry, he, uh, to break through the Heinrich Heine Straße border crossing in a truck and was the first known Berlin Wall victim to die from suffocation. <clears throat> he had been born in Berlin one of eight children raised in the Friedrichs, Friedrichshain area of the city. By 1962, he was still living in Friedrichshain, then in West, uh, I'm sorry, East Berlin, but he was a Grenzgänger, or cross-border commuter, working as a truck driver for AEG in West Berlin. And then Allgemeine Elektrik, Citatsgesellschaft uh, AG, or General Electricity Company, was a German producer of electrical equipment founded as the Deutsche Edison, uh, Edison Gesellschaft für Angewandte Elektrizität in 1883. <clears throat> After the border had been abruptly closed and the Berlin Wall's construction had been uh, begun in August 1961 by East German authorities. Bruske had remained in East Berlin, finding a new job there as a truck driver. He quickly became unhappy with the situation in East Germany and started to plan his escape to West Berlin with friends, deciding to break through the border with a truck. <clears throat> On April the 17th, 1962, he borrowed a truck from his workplace, then loaded it with sand, and that evening met six friends who wanted to take part in the escape attempt <clears throat> where they drank alcohol for courage. When Bruske and the men went to the truck to start their escape attempt, they saw Volkspolizei, or People's Police officers nearby, in other words, East German police officers, instead parting ways <clears throat> in order not to attract any attention from the policemen. At the later meeting, only three of Bruske's friends were still willing to escape. He sat down at the steering wheel to drive. Lothar M. sat in the passenger seat and Peter G. lay down in the, area's low, uh, in the truck's loading area. After midnight, they drove at the Heinrich Heine Straße border crossing at about 70 kilometers per hour or <clears throat> 44 miles per hour. They managed to break through the first two boom barriers. Then a soldier of the East German border guards fired a total of 14 shots at the vehicle. <clears throat> the truck stopped on the West Berlin side after hitting a wall, but Bruske had died and his friends were injured and all three men were taken to the hospital. Bruske was pronounced dead and an autopsy of his corpse revealed that he had suffered two non-fatal gunshot injuries to the neck and he had suffocated in the sand loaded on the back of the truck, <clears throat> which had poured into the cab due to the impact or collision with the wall. 